Dave, for throwing shot, Lee Tiki, and his skills called Emilian Lance Fell. Our Sutley Hishaw, F. Kui, Clay Kanish F. Kui, Hashi Eder, Skull Nashum to Clahi Terry Pai, our Skull Nashum to Pai Mingri. For Clahi Terry Pai produce. Every year, Michael O'Connor. Every two, Kate Fitzgerald. Every three, Adam Dale. Every car, Daniel O'Reilly. Every coin, Phil Spillett. Every shade, and Captain, Ben Fitzgibbon. Every shot, Ben Cockrell. Every hop, the last Captain, Captain, Callie O'Connor. Every day, Callum Spillett. Every day, E4 Sullivan. The Hamian Daniel Drummond. Dorian Lauren Joyce. Trinian Daniel Frank Hayes. Cowdian Alex Healy. Cowdian Jack McGregor. Shanian David O'Neill. Sharkian Donny Boy Sullivan. Hawkian Darren Keller. Nadian Emma Keneal. Fahad Olivia O'Connor. Fahil Makila Reed. Fahilo Luke Ferris. Fahil Tree Oliver Commons. Fahil Kahar Sophia Crowley. August Neil Craig O'Sullivan and Shaw. Al Shane Ivor Fahilo Yu Chen Shaw. Ivor or Skull National to Bind the Green. Ivor Hill Muna Commons. Every two, Kaylee O'Sullivan. Every three, Daniel O'Leary. Every car, May Healy. Every Cooey, our captain, Millie McSullivan. Every Shea, Sean McSullivan. Every shot, and I'll lay hand. A hope to Sean Cooey, Sean Cooey. Every name, Ryan Barrett. Every dead, Donald Murphy Kingston. Indian Tommy McSullivan, Dorian Family Han, Tridian Tom Healy, Cowdian Ethan Keller, Coydian Ethan O'Brien, Shadian Daniel O'Sullivan, Sharkian Liam O'Brien, Oakdian Groshin Toy, Nadian Patricia O'Donovan, Fahel Lane O'Driscoll, Fahel Gerald O'Sullivan, Fahedo Mio Sullivan and Fahedri Mio Dunan. Come and take us. Right guys, look this way now. Nowhere else, no. Right guys, look at me. Now you're captain. 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 Where's your captain, lads? Where's your captain, lads? Do you want to wait for that? Yeah. There's no protection for the girls. You have to... Stand back. Stand back to the side. Yep. Right there. Oh, yeah. Hold on, boys. Shake hands. Shake hands again. Guys, look at me. Look at me. Thank you. Who's the referee? Right. Well, D. Eva was fought to Rove and Shaw enough uh, to Parky Cree for this final featuring Balna Gree and Claheen. This is the F5 mix final, and uh, the first first ball is won there by, by uh, the Balna Gree lads, but it's cut out by River the Door. Keen for Shaw, Keen for Shaw, for Claheen down the field. The Sean Tweed is on it for Balna Gree now. Sean wonder they'll go to players. Uh, Ever Huff, nice ball, nice ball in here to the first, but I think it's just going to beat them all and go over the line and wide. Well, good start by Balna Gree getting the first ball up and um, but it just went to the right and wide this is a nine aside uh, competition so there'll be lots of space here uh, in this pitch in the shotting pitch and uh, the kick out is going to be taken by Michael O'Connor in goals for the 
Clahean Kerry Pike National School. Long kick out over to the far side. Over there, Ziver the car, Ziver the car, Mayfield making an effort to get it, but it's kicked across here by the. Now, is the goalkeeper going to come? Una Cummins, she does, and she deals with that very competently indeed. Una Cummins out to the middle of the field, but Clahean are still pretty under pressure, and Una Cummins has it again, and again she gets that ball and kicks it away down the middle. Clahean are under again with Ben Fitzgibbon, the captain. He goes for a big long kick, and that's gone over the bar. Over a shake, it was actually Ben Fitzgibbon, the captain, and he's got the first point of the game for Clahean. So after just one minute and 16 seconds, Clahean lead by one point to zero. Nice kick out by Una Cummins. She's getting it over here to, to uh, Ivra 5, Lily Max Sullivan. Lily Max Sullivan is the captain of the team. And uh, but nine for Clahean has it. Nine is Callum Spillet. Callum Spillet kicking it across here, and it's going to go to the left and wide. Well, the early pressure being applied by Clahean. They've just got one point on the board. <laughs> But uh, it's early days yet in this contest. This novel pairing, it must be added, because these two teams never met in the final before. It's Ballon Gris first year entering the competition, and it's their first final. What an achievement. Great play there by Sean McSullivan, as he gets the ball up here towards Sean Toole. But it's cut out there by the cornerback, by Daniel O'Riordan. He kicks it on down the line here, and it's going to be taken in by Ivra Cool. He doesn't waste time uh, from still didn't get it in. But it's uh, well shielded out there by the cornerback, by, uh, for Ballon Gris, by Kaylee O'Sullivan and uh, she shepherded that ball out uh, over the end line and made sure that uh, nothing came out of it oh I think a 45 has come out of it actually so it is going to be a 45 for Clahine Ivra Shea will take it the captain Ben Fitzgibbon and he uh, has kicked the only point of the game so far so he'll feel confident about going he certainly has the distance and not it's kept in play just just kept in play by the corner forward by uh, Callum Spillett but it it, uh, it resulted in nothing and it's going to be a kick out again for Una Cremins Una Cremins uh, Cummins uh, kick it over there to the far side uh, Anna Lehan is, 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 is trying to get on to the end of this but it has been taken down by Ben, by ben Cotter and uh, the ball is over there in the, in the corner uh, Clahine looking lively in the first few minutes and they're coming in here along the byline this could be dangerous here if they keep coming nice ball across but well cut out there Sean McSullivan was there to cut it out and uh, he gets that ball and he thumps it away up the field and it's now over here into the space Sean Tewig is after it but it's cut out by Adam Daly Adam Daly to four four is Daniel O'Riordan Daniel O'Riordan kicks it down into the middle and they're fighting for it down there so he and her there but so too is me uh, Kaylee O'Sullivan and, and it's now with Ivor Akui Ivor Akui going for goal Ivor Akui has gone for goal and scored a goal Ivor Akui the still spill it the wing back came up he took his shot and he measured it absolutely perfectly and he put it into the corner early blood here for for um, Clahine they've got the first goal in point but now Sean McSullivan taking that kick out from Una Cummins Sean McSullivan is going toe the end up the field and uh, he's, he's uh, still going good ball in here now to Sean Tuig Sean Tuig has, uh, is trying to get in he's going for a shot Sean Tuig kicks a big high ball but it's just gone to the right and wide well that's better from Ballon Legree and uh, after four minutes it's one goal and one point for Clahine no score for Ballon Legree Ballon Legree as I said in the first final they come from the, the Mick Carter the Hina and uh, they will be hoping to, to make their first victory now they are coming again with Ryan Barrett Ryan Barrett trying to get down on the ball but me uh, held up by Kaylee O'Sullivan now it's kicked over here into space by Sahin and Sean McSullivan is making a mighty dash to get over here first and he does the men with the orange boots very distinguished but by his boots and his footballing ability toe to hand right and left that's very good play kicking left and right but it's cut out by Ben Fitzgibbon Ben Fitzgibbon tower of strength there it's at the back oh that's a big long ball in there's another chance of a goal is it going to be another goal oh it's another goal for Kaheen well they've pounced that was a mighty ball by Ben Fitzgibbon and uh, they pounced in there I'll try and find who scored that ball uh, the goalkeeper had no chance we'll follow that for a minute we'll just get up here Sean McSullivan Ben Legree need a score that was a good play there by Millie McSullivan Sean McSullivan and he goes for the kick but it's gone to the right and just gone wide just wide but that's uh, on the nuclear because it was great play by Sean McSullivan I think the score over there while ago was number 
7 I think was the man who got that goal it looked like it was Ben Cotter he's his hand in the air celebrating still kick out now by Michael O'Connor and uh, it's over to the far side and it looks like it's over on my Callum Spillett Callum Spillett going toward the hand he brilliant tackle by Keely O'Sullivan by, by uh, yeah and it's, it's still with Spillett kicking it in and uh, I think for a 3 is going to be there Daniel O'Leary Daniel O'Leary shepherds it out over the end line but it's going to be a 45 for um, Clahean. Clahean are definitely in control at this moment. They lead by two goals and a point. These sides did meet earlier in the league section and Balmagri were victorious on that occasion but not by much. So that we, this game will be close and I'm sure that Balmagri will get going. Just give them time and the ball has been kicked in there again by Ben Fitzgibbon. Big long ball but Daniel O'Leary is coming in with a great catch by him and it's trying to get it out but again here come uh, Fionn Spillett and he's going for a shot. Dangerous ball in but well blocked inside there by Una Cummins and Una Cummins has done very well to get collect that ball and get it out they're jostling for it over there uh, Keane Fitzgerald he gets it in but I think it's going to go to the left and it's going to go wide well it's all action here in this game at this moment and the referee today um, again is uh, Jamie O'Connor Jamie O'Connor now it's good kick out and it's with Sean McSullivan he's doing very well he's really got the legs here on number 5 it's Sean McSullivan still going gives it to Sean Dewey a score would do nicely for Valerie lovely dummy by Sean Dewey lofts it in towards the goal it's a dangerous ball is it gone in I think that could have been over the line. He's gone for the flag. Yes, it's gone in. Sean Tweek has got the goal. And the are back in the game. Great shot by Sean Tweek. The goalkeeper, Michael O'Connor, got his hands to it. But it spilled off his fingers and just about crossed the line. Well, 2-1 to 1 goal. That opens it all up. And it was, really did come from some great play by Sean McSullivan. Uh, driving down the middle for them. But here comes Clahean again. They're not going to be... Uh, Overall, by any goal, and it's all great defending by Donald or oh, Larry, the Daniel O'Leary, the fullback for for um, and be helped there by Kelly O'Sullivan, and it's a shot by oh by the car of our number nine, number nine, Callum Spillett. He's uh, waving his hands to the crowd again as he urges them to support them even more as they get a point on the board again. So it's two two to one goal. The kick out here by Una Cummins. She has found her man Sean McSullivan on numerous occasions. And uh, he kicks it across and he's found his man again, Sean Tool. He's the man they need to get to know. Sean Tool is going to the end. He's gone, he's gone past two or three. But very good defending. He's blocked. He goes with the left and he kicks it over the bar with the left. Well, Sean Tool has got a goal and a point. He's the go-to man on this side. Yeah. And on the other side, I think Callum Spillett has been doing some of the damage and it is now 2-2 two, two to 1-1. One, one. Very exciting game this is. And uh, all to play for. Michael O'Connor. Michael O'Connor is going to uh, kick out uh, the ball now. Uh, far um, Kaheen he's got it down the middle but as well one over there by Kelly O'Sullivan I think it is Kelly O'Sullivan gives it on to Millie McSullivan who's the captain Millie McSullivan and uh, she's a cousin of Sean McSullivan the man who's been fighting tooth and nail to get that ball now it's going to be Sean Tui he's coming way out the field this time he's full forward in general and I think he's going to get a line ball out here so Sean Tuig will steady it up here Sean who's, whose father Tuig is chairman of the Hina GA club and uh, now he gives it to Sean McSullivan Sean McSullivan is going to go for a kick big long high dropping ball in the goalie is under but he decides to let it and despite oh well kept in play in there really well kept in play and now it's a chance of a, it just could be a score and it is just gone wide well it was just unlucky it was great play I think over there by the corner of forward by um Ever a shot and ever a shot was Annalie Hand. She did very well to keep the ball in, but the shot came in eventually from um can't see who it is, but it went to the right and it went wide and it's now play on and the ball has gone in again and it's now a long ball down here now there's a big load of space here and they have another chance to heal the score do they take the point they kick it wide well that was a good chance they opened up the Balmagree defence and in a nine side game there is a lot of space and if you can get in behind it can create a lot of danger but the chance went to begging uh, Una Cummins nice kick out again to Sean McSullivan Sean McSullivan is doing very well he's gone he's won a lot of ball he's kicked it up the field this could be as well won in 
inside there by Keen Fitzgerald. Keen Fitzgerald to Adam Daly. Adam Daly back up again to Keen Fitzgerald. Very good defending here. He gives it to eight. Eight is Ka Kelly O'Connor. He's the, that, that's the voice captain. Nice ball in here. Don't, will he be cut out? Don O'Leary. Oh, great defending by Daniel O'Leary. Just to get that away. And that's well taken again by Una Cummins. A lot of sustained pressure here at times on the Battle of defence, but they're coping very well at this stage. Now it's a shot for a point from the centre back by Bain. Bain gets it in towards the danger zone. And oh, there's a chance of a score, but the referee is awarded a free in. He said there was a push on the back on the corner forward as he went for the ball. And the corner forward, uh, number. A small, a nice tidy corner forward there. Ivor Kuig, well, Ivor Kuig, he could be playing anywhere. And Ivor Kuig was Fionn Spinett. And that was a free, I think it's a free. And the referee, Jamie O'Connor from St. Anthony's Boys National School, is telling, pointing out to Fionn Spinett where to kick this ball from. Fionn kicks it. It's a nasty looking ball, but it's just perfectly over the bar. It could have dropped in there to the corner of the net just as easy, but it's over the bar and it increased the tying lead to two goals and three points to one goal and one point as the, the, the dampness just begins to descend on, on us here in Parky Cleef. Number four, Phil Spiller, uh, number four was Daniel Lorraine and Fert Lahine. He's getting it in there to the far corner, but Sean McSullivan shepherds it's away out, and it's gone wide. So it's a wide ball after 11 minutes and 20 seconds. 2-3 to 1-1. Um, Lahine carry Pike in the ascendancy. Again, Una Cummins finds her man. Every kick out, I'd say 100% retention rate from Una Cummins' this kicks out here today. Great kick to Sean McSullivan. He kicks it long. He's getting it over to Millie. Millie, his first cousin. Millie is the captain. And it is now going to be won by Ryan Barrett. Ryan Barrett wins that ball. Ryan gets a pass over here to Sean Tewig. Lovely little pass. Sean Tewig does a person inside. He'll give it to Anneli Hanno. He goes to his own score. And he does very well, Sean Tewig. And he pops it over the bar. And that reduces the deficit again. So a great point there by Valerie. Well worked up the field. And they really had their homework done on the training by Mr. Shane Lehan and Mr. Pio Leemchig. Uh, it's certainly telling there in that great combination mo movement. Now it's kick out. Taken left legged by Michael O'Connor. Michael O'Connor kick it. Again there's a, there's a loose man, a person inside but it's cut out again by the line after Daniel O'Leary. He does really well to cut out the danger there as I think it was K K Kelly O'Connor was going in for that but again Tahin they're fighting two to nil they don't want to finish the half um, on a downer and now the ball is with over there I think it's with Mayfield Mayfield doing very well to get that ball and I think it is on the far side anyway we follow the play Millie Max Sullivan is fighting for the ball and I think that's a free and the referee agrees and he gives the free up over there on the far side with for a shot there I think it was uh, and Lee Han was fouled into Sean Tui he's the danger man he's got the 1-2 so far he's got all their scores he's coming left to right good pass to Sean Max Sullivan Sean Max Sullivan is dashing through he goes with the right this time and he off the post and Harren trusts no that has to be a point I think yes definitely white flag up and the referee agrees over the bar point for uh, a degree. Great kick by Sean McSullivan. Really had his radar on there as he popped that over the bar. It's reduced it. 2 3 1 3. Anybody's game. And now Donald O'Leary uh, comes across there at the fullback and he does very well. Uh, soccer style puts it out over the line and so it's going to be a line ball in there. Well, the players are puffing nine aside. Uh, you know, it might only be 15 minutes a half, but since there's only nine players on the field, uh, it's a tiring game. But at this stage, it is going to be a line ball here for. At Clahine, Kerry Pike, can they finish with a flourish? Ivorishay is going to take it. He started with a flourish. Ben Fitzgibbon, he popped the first one over the bar. He's kicking this. This won't be a flourish. It's not going to reach the goal, but it's still there. And again, I think it's Daniel O'Leary coming out with the ball. Good clearance by him, but I think it's just going to go over the line and will be another line ball. There are 13 minutes and 55 seconds gone. The referee, James O'Connor, for from St. Anthony's Boys National School is ably assisted by the linesmen from St. Anthony's Boys National School and his umpires are from uh, Glenmore Community College. We thank them all for their help here today. Ivor O'Shea, Ben Fitzgibbon, the captain, long raking high kick in. But I think Donald O'Leary is going to be there. Daniel O'Leary is there again. He kicks it up the middle and uh, now it's a, a, a shot being taken by uh, Ivor Ado. Ivor Ado Keen Fitzgerald. He knows he could have done better and uh, he puts up his hand in acknowledgement. But it's gone to the right and wide. Una Cummins has been the busier goalkeeper but she's been doing very well. There might be a couple of balls within the net. She 
and we'll be about him but her kicks out have been stupendous and again she finds her man and that is undoubtedly Sean Max Sullivan he's playing a wheel of a game he kicks the ball long it's a high ball into Sean Tuig but there's a push in the back in Sean Tuig that was a fairly clear free in number three Adam Daly uh, had the height but he still fouled so it's going to be a free in can Ballon agree finish with a flourish it's time up by Lakehead but there might be just a short enough time to, to play on and it's going to be taken here uh, and I think it's going to be um, uh, it's going to be taken by Ivor Hawk, Danny, Sean Max Sullivan. Big, long, high ball in. He's got it in there. Millie into his first cousin, Millie, the captain. But it's just, it's just on the end line. And it's just going to be kept the way out. And, the, and the, the Fahim boys are managing to keep it out for the moment. And they've got it away down the field. Could they finish the score? Uh, would I have? It's Kelly. I think it's Kelly O'Connell. Kelly O'Connell with the ball into the middle. Number two comes for a King Fitzgerald. He wins it too. And uh, he's on the far side. He needs one of three as well. Well, so it's a free in the referee is a judge that that was a foul over there on the far side of the field so last chance saloon here I think there's a nearly 16 minutes gone and it is Clahine attacking with a free and it's um, kicked right across here and they're all under it here but it's well taken there and that was well taken there by Everish yeah. Everett Day has come in, yeah, Everett Day is in there for Ballon Agree, and Everett Day did well there, Everett Day is uh, Donna Murphy Kingston, I think, has come in, and he has taken that uh, ball, and to finish the half, it is 2-3 to 1-3 in favour of Clahine. So we're all ready for the second half of this um, um, 15 minutes a half. F5 final here in Parky Cueve and the uh, Clohean team having got words of wisdom I'm sure from the man Jerome Burke and from Kate O'Callaghan and indeed I'm sure their principal Annette Golden would have a few things to say at them at half time they are defending a one goal lead at the start of this second half um, I'm sure Balnagri would have got words of wisdom as well from their manager Mr. Shane Lehan, uh, but we are ready for the second half. The first cousins are in the middle of the field for Ballon Agree, um, Millie and Sean McSullivan. Any changes up front? We'll just have a look. I think Ryan Barrett is there, Sean Tuig is there, and Everett De is definitely in there. Everett De is. Um, as I said already, is uh, Donna Murphy Kingston. Now, Donna Murphy Kingston's mother is a great. Uh, uh, as we, we better follow the play here first, because that's gone over the bar. It's a great point in the very kick of the first half from Sean McSullivan to cut the lead to two points. I was just saying that uh, Donna Murphy Kingston's mother is an All Ireland bowling champion, Denise, but uh, her son are, uh, is, is not just a bowler, he's also a great footballer. As now it's with. Um, Clohean as they seek to get the ball up there and I think there's a sub in there for Clohean I'll see who she is in a moment too but now they have a chance here and it's ever a shot they have a shot going for goal but well oh it's gone into the net it's a goal they have a shot for Clohean they've responded to the point Ben Cotter buries the ball in the back of the net tremendously hard shot buried it in the net and that gives them back their um, lead again of three goals and four three points to one goal and four so that's 12 to Seven. Now Balnagri might need to get the next score after that. Ten does well. Ten is um, Dunna Murphy. Dunna Murphy into Sean McSullivan. Big long high ball in, but it's going to go to the right and wide. Now that's a real tonic for Clahine, the Kerry, the Kerry Pike based team. I'm sure a lot of their players will be playing with Lon Lee. Maybe some of them will be playing with St. Vincent's. Maybe Adam Daly does. His dad Jason Daly does loads and loads of work for St. Vincent's. But uh, his son is doing the field today. It's with four Daniel O'Reilly. Daniel O'Reilly, lovely ball over there to the far side. And it's now with, um, oh, great play, every day, every day is in two for Clahine. And she plays it over there to five, five and ten combining. And five was Fionn Spillett, and De Izifa Sullivan, she's in for Clahine. And she did very well there to combine with Fionn Spillett, and it's going to be three for Clahine. There's a rake of Clahine players around the ball, there's at least six of them with the goalkeeper, James or Jamie. O'Connor with the referee, Jamie O'Connor. Five is going to take it. Five was fouled, Fionn Spillett. Five is going to take it. He kicks it in. That's a beautiful kick over the bar any day of the week by Fionn Spillett. Pops it over and a great point. Well, now, Una Cummins. Ballon will need to get the next score, I'd imagine. Um, nice ball over there to the far side. The captain is there, though, however far. Um, the captain being Ben Fitzgibbon. Ben Fitzgibbon, he's put under first pressure by Sean McSullivan. Sean McSullivan, but it's now won by uh, the corner forward in there, and it's Callum Spillett. Uh, but it's a great block down by the Ballon defender. And the ball is going in over here to Daniel O'Leary. Daniel O'Leary doing very well. He's been doing well all day. And I think Billy McSullivan uh, is going to try and uh, get that ball there. Instead, it's Sean, her, her, um, 
Sean McSullivan, her first cousin, and he lets a big long ball down in here. Now the race is on. Could Johnny Tree get on the end of this? He does. He's going to the end. He's going for goal. He'll surely score. What a save! Oh my goodness, that's a bit of Johnny Tree's going again. Net! Goal! Brilliant! Johnny Tree never gave up. When he went in, I knew there was a great chance of a goal. But it was an absolutely fantastic save by Mike O'Connor. But the ball eventually spilled loose. Johnny Tree was alert again. Uh, and, and he just got it again and turned and buried it in the net game back on again 3-4 to 2-4 this is the most exciting game of football it's up and down the field both sides deserve great commendations for their for their tenacity Daniel O'Rear cleared it down the line but it went off a Bellamy defender I think off maybe off Millie no I think the I think that's uh, yeah it is and it is a it is a clean ball they played it in very quickly in towards uh, Phil Spillett no there's a chance here again there's lots of space in this game good ball across Daniel O'Rear is there and just oh it's going to go down the inline well shepherded out there by, by Daniel O'Leary and uh, the corner forward almost got onto the end of it and if it was uh, in there it would have been number 7 number 7 was the man who was trying to get on the end of it and that was Ben Cotter but lucky for Ballaby he didn't get on the end of it ball up Sean Tuig he's been pushed in the back free in so Sean Tuig the go-to man he's got at least two goals and uh, three I'd say of the Ballaby total 2-2 two, two anyway Millie McSullivan is going to kick this one in towards Sean McSullivan he's got Sean Lee Tuig she's got Sean Tuig inside Sean McSullivan he gives it to two chance of a goal. oh great dummy great block oh my goodness that was a great shot Sean Tuig did well done to save to, 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 to do the dummy but there was a great defence there by Keane Fitzgerald and now this is could be game changing it's up at the other end of Caheen it's up and down the field great defending all together there by the Ballagree defender coming out with the ball I think he's being fouled it's definitely free out he's on the ground and he's going to get up and he's being lifted up by Millie McSullivan that's number 11 number 11 in for Ballon that's Tommy Max Sullivan lots of Max Sullivan's playing here today Tommy is a brother of Sean E. Max Sullivan and he they are first cousins of Millie now the ball's in with Sean Tewick Sean Tewick is the man you want on the ball Sean Tewick net what a goal absolutely brilliant Sean Tewick is done it again this game is in the melting pot and it is now level at 3-4 each well all true uh, Ballon have been behind but now they're in the assembly Sean Tewick is going in again this time he gives it to Sean Max Sullivan the chance for the lead and it is the lead sensational turnaround by Ballon Green. Well, I did say earlier on there that they needed to get the next score. They haven't just got the next score. They've got the next three scores, two goals and a point. And that is absolutely amazing because now they lead by three goals and five points to three goals and four points. What a sensational game. What an exhibition by Sean Tuig. He has scored at least three. I think he's got about three, 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 two, three, three of the three, five. Anyway, Sean, uh, anyway, the, we'll follow the clear with the kick out. Um, uh, Dunham Murphy. Uh, and I think that's going to be a free up um, for Clohe and it might avert the uh, column spin it winning the free there it's going to be taken by Ivora Coolg and Ivora Coolg is Fionn Spillett Fionn Spillett long ball in then needs to be done defending Dundon and it's done by it was done by Tommy McSullivan but uh, Cahill still have it 11, 7 goals for it dangerous ball it's in the net oh, Fionn Spillett's got a goal this is stupendous stuff Ivora shot with his left leg he just got it in the top corner fantastic response by Cahill this game is a thrill a minute down it goes it's Sean McSullivan he's got the great kick out from Una Cummins he is really going for it he's gone past three or four players he takes the shot he puts it over the bar this is stupendous football one point in it again Tahin 4-4 four, four, Balagree 3-6 and that is reads as uh, 16 to 15 well you can say these but the Balmagree certainly aren't giving up on this game at any stage no matter what goals Clahine get but what a game of football what entertainment and we still have loads of time left in this game there are nine minutes for this thriller minute game and it's kick out by Mike O'Connor. who's going to win this Millie Max Sullivan fighting like a captain to win it it's going up the far side uh, uh, Clahin oh they've got it nicely there nice play by Clahin and I think it is over there with 10 it's in here towards the goals but uh, O'Leary is there Daniel O'Leary does well and he slides it away out to the left hand side and that's going to be a line ball in for Clahine you can't take your eyes off this game because it's up and down the field I think it's a very shame their captain is all going to take it it is indeed their captain their captain is Ben Fitzgibbon their vice captain is Kelly O'Connell and uh, they're going to take that kick now and um, he's kicked it right across a big long raking kick but and uh, they've got possession over but it's well taken away by that man again Sean McSullivan the amount of all he's played is frightening he's got nothing in his head only up to Sean too. it's a big long ball in behind again two weeks on it it could be goal number four it's uh, what a sensational save again this is absolutely stunning Michael O'Connor makes an absolutely breathtaking 
being saved and he touched her into the bar well this is an incredible game. Sean McSullivan has it for Balnegrito he goes with the left this time he kicks it across but it's well taken there by the fullback by Adam Daly Daly way down the field and now it's on the other side and now it's uh, up with Tahin Tahin going uh, on the far side there it looks like uh, Ben Cotter oh it's right across here Cotter's on the end of it now Cotter goes for goal and it's in the net by Cotter oh my gosh Cotter's got another goal brilliant I'm sure it was seven was it seven I'm trying to see yes it was goal and their game has changed completely again oh this is stunning Ben Legree trying to get the ball back great kick up by Una Una Cummins uh, to, 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 to Sean McSullivan he's not giving up they can score what they like he's giving it across here to Duna, or Duna oh but it's were taken and well cut out by six Ben Fitzgibbon and Michael O'Connor does the rest well if Cahine win this game they can thank a lot of players but they'll certainly have to thank their goalkeeper who has been making some stupendous saves and it's a free out for Cahine maybe we'll get a chance to draw our breath maybe we'll get a chance to take a drink because this game is just absolutely riveting and it's a line ball no the referee has decided it's a free to be retaken it's 23-53 on the clock it's 5-4 to 3-6 5-3-15 19-15 and uh, the ball has been won out there again it's done well by Dunna by uh, over there Dunna Dunna Murphy Kingston anyway it's now with Tahin and they're going soccer style soccer style all the way in he's going to chip it across great ball out it's all it out there towards uh, Efo Sullivan but it's now going to be taken up by Ben Spillett Ben Spillett has or has, Fionn Spillett has taken his scores well and it's going to be a free in for Tahin it's going to be a free in the referee is a judge that, that, that was a foul on the centre back at uh, number 6 and the foul is going to be the free is going to be taken by Ben Fitzgibbon the captain himself Ben Fitzgibbon kicks it but he puts it wide that's an amazing let off that's an amazing let off it's 19 to 6 to uh, 9 and 6 to 15 there are 4 points in it 4 points still in this game and it's kick out kick out is over there to the far side and it's uh, I think uh, Balnaby might have introduced another sub I'll see who that is in a moment if I can but anyway come then um, come then um, Tahin with the ball again and over the far side is the lad who kicked in the last ball the soccer style ball and uh, it's coming to the middle vital who's going to win this ball and it's won by uh, Kingston by Ben Fitzgibbon Ben Fitzgibbon to Everett Death it's still play on says the referee and the Sean McSullivan he wins it well Sean McSullivan with a big long ball out and here again we go there's a race on Sean McSullivan Sean e. Tuig is going for it he needs to collect this ball and hopefully get a score for Ben but it's well defended you'd have to say there by Daniel O'Reilly really good good defending he prevented Sean Tuig from getting that one and it's gone out over the line but it's a line ball for Ben plenty time left four points four minutes it's definitely doable. These at 5 4 to Tahin. It's 3 6 to Ben Legree. No, so Sean McSullivan. He's having a look. He gives it to Millie McSullivan. The captain leading by example. Across here towards. The man who has it is Ivory Day. It's Dunham Murphy. And Dunham Murphy kicks a beautiful point. That's an absolutely fabulous score by Dunham Murphy Kingston. Great ball over the bar. And that brings the, the back now to just the goal. 5 4 to 3 7. And. An amazing game, 5-4 to 3-7, and it's going to be a kick out now by Michael O'Connor. It's still there. There's anything could happen in this game yet. And I see 11 is in two for Ballaby. I you said, said that already. Tommy McSullivan. Tommy is in with a while. He's been doing well. Nice kick out there by Michael O'Connor. Finds his back. Now the space is here again. Now it's a run again at soccer style. And uh, oh, they're in for this. Are they? Oh, great tackle. That was an absolutely fantastic tackle. The ball went wide, but great pressure was applied by Tommy McSullivan as he tore back there to prevent an almost certain goal for Tahin which might have sealed the game and now on the far side the ball is over there and I think that looks like Fionnley Han to me I'm not sure if he's in 13 I think he is I think that's Fionnley Han yes Fionn who's dead and old played full back for Hina for many years anyway we'll follow the play because Sean Tuick has this ball and he needs to get something here for Balnegree he passes it across Millie the captain she has a chance will she score she takes a shot but no it just goes to the right and wide have look and Millie me or more it just went to the right and wide well that was a chance and uh, it's going to be kicked out again by Michael O'Connor now uh, by my reckon there are two minutes and oh two and a half minutes left there might be a little bit extra for stoppages kick out by Michael O'Connor no time here to dry your breath and it's coming out there I think is Daniel O'Leary 
far and agree he kicks a guy in in towards Sean McSullivan Sean McSullivan and Tommy McSullivan combining to Sean Tuig oh he just slipped at the wrong time Sean that was very unlucky but he gets up and picks it up again and he picks it across here Daniel O'Leary has it they need to forge a score here Sean Tuig has it he's gone past one player but Clohean are back in huge numbers Sean McSullivan great block down great block down by Daniel O'Reardon but touched on the ground free in for Ballin agree what are they going to do there's one goal in it they have two minutes well uh, Sean Max Sullivan is going to take this he has played his heart out uh, there's another sub coming in far far no it's not going to be taken by him at all it's going to be taken by let me have a look he takes a short one takes a short one to Sean Max Sullivan that was good thinking and it's saved again by the goalie that is just dumb founding great move quick free by 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 Dunham Murphy to Sean Max Sullivan he jinked right he jinked left he kicked with the left and it was going into the bottom corner except for Michael O'Connor the man is a fantastic goalkeeper you would have to say they're world lucky saves they're brilliant saves now it's with Cahill way over the far side the ball is just got beaten out the player he's not very happy over there but uh, Ivor Cardiff he's been in for a while there for for um, for Alex Healy he has been in there on the far side he's the man who made the goal earlier on he's been very effective since he came in long ball out long ball out but we have to get it Sean Maxson no better man to have it he's going toe to hand and he's going to kick it in right across the field oh it's taken there well taken there by Ivor Adde Ivor Adde but it's up in the air and uh, it's lost Finn Nehan is in there trying to get it and it's now uh, Tahin have the ball they're trying to get it out and it's with Ivra 3 do you got to think and it's going to be a free for Tahin to relieve the danger he's going to let it for the captain I uh, think that was really good defending by Ivra Kuijig it was Kuijig is in again I've ever mentioned him Kuijig did very well that was Jack McGregor Jack McGregor now it's with Dan Legree it's last guest saloon for them there's a half a minute left they're just a goal behind could they snatch a draw no Sean McSullivan has it who's the man you want to have with the ball Sean McSullivan or Sean Tewig he's still going He's beaten two or three. It's a chance of a goal. Oh, it goes whistling over the bar. He did everything right, but just the ball didn't stay down. It whistled over the bar. And that means there's just two points in it. 5-4 to 3-8. And that is 9 and 8, 17 to 15 and 4, 19. Two points in it. What's the referee going to do? There's 30 on the clock. Is he going to blow it up or will he give Balnagree one last chance it's kick out by Michael O'Connor who has been stupendous in goals and he's going to kick it out long there is one more play I think the referee hasn't blown the whistle he's kicked it over the line he hasn't well kept in play over there and now uh, Jack McGregor kept that well in play but now it could be won back by the Balnagree cornerback by Fionn Nehan Fionn Nehan is doing his damnedest so to his mini Max Sullivan and they're going there after winning the ball they are but it's won now by the captain by the uh, Ben uh, he kicks it right in there Ben Fitzgibbon and it's a dangerous ball in it's a oh, what a sliding tackle taken off the line by, by Daniel O'Leary taken off the line to the great tackle by Tommy McSullivan and the referee has blown the whistle it's joy for Clohean what a win in a sensational game of football this F5 final an absolutely brilliant game I haven't seen as good a game in a long time Clohean 5 goals and 4 points Balnagree 3 goals and 8 points well it's Cove Rhone the Balnagree it's their 125th anniversary this year it would have been a wonderful wonderful present for the school it wasn't to be they have just been edged out but it was a fantastic game either side could have won that but in the end I think Cahill, uh, thanks to the goalkeeping heroics of Michael O'Connor and the, their ability to get goals win by 5-4 to 3-8 just two points in it Covron the Balnagree Covardus Le Cahill
with some fabulous boys and girls here. Some excellent footballers. I really, really hope you enjoyed the day, and I really, really hope, and I think I will see some of you back playing here in days to come. So well done. Okay, thank you. Keep your heads on. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Dave, 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 just take a photo now. Grant,